besties. I am finally doing it. I'm finally filming a style video. I was literally about to change the name of my fucking channel to vlogs only because it was getting ridiculous. Do you want to be in it, Mama? She's like, oh my god, she's actually, she's actually doing it. Like, I have to be a part of it. Come here. Say hi, Mama. This is Fluff. She's my little assistant, um, co-director, you know. If you watch my videos, you definitely know Fluff. So today, we're actually gonna be styling one pair of pants 10 different ways. I got these really cool zebra pants off of Etsy a few months ago. These are the pants that I got. They're like a brown zebra print. I just felt like the brown was so versatile and it could go with so many different things. These are really in right now, especially for spring and summer months. These are going to be literally like, if you, if you can rock these, like you're a trendy bitch. So I'm gonna help you be that trendy bitch. I've really been wanting a pair of zebra pants like this for a while, but honestly, I really wanted a good quality pair. I didn't just wanna get them off of like Shein or something like that just because I personally feel like these are such a good staple to have in your closet, especially for the spring and summer months. I just think that these are so fun and they're so trendy and they're just such an eye catcher that they really do just like spice up pretty much any outfit and they're not that hard to style. I'm gonna show you guys 10 different ways to style these exact same pairs of pants just to give you some ideas and inspiration because I know some people get intimidated whenever they see like a crazy print like this and I totally get it, but honestly, there's nothing to be afraid of. They're really fun. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna style some zebra pants. I ordered them off of Etsy about three months ago and they took a while to come in. So, you know, that's the thing about ordering things off Etsy. It does take a little bit of time sometimes, but the quality is normally so much better. And for me, especially now that I don't grow and haven't grown for some time now, I really prefer to get quality items just because I know that I can wear them next year and the year after that and the year after that. Like those moon boots I got, if you know me personally, yes, they are expensive. But every time I go to the snow now, your girl is going to be cute as fuck and warm as shit. And that's all that matters, you know what I mean? So anyways, this is what we're doing, this is what we're styling. Welcome to my channel, welcome back. I'm so freaking excited. I have so many cute ideas and I can't wait to break into them. But before we do, if you are new here, what up girl, what up? I am so excited that you're here. Please subscribe, please like this video. If you're not new here, everyone just like this video, go like the video because like, you know, you like it, right? I'm really gonna try to push out so many style videos coming up, you guys. This whole time, like I've been going through like a medical situation, I'm like so tired of saying that it's insane, but I've been going through like a medical situation, so I haven't been able to play with all of the new clothes and all the things that I've been ordering. So I just have all this new clothes and I have so many outfits and so many ideas and just so many style videos up my sleeve that I can't wait to break into. So definitely subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any of that. I also make vlogs. And um, like that's literally all I've been doing lately is just like making vlogs. I really need to stop actually and like make more style videos. So I'm just not gonna talk about that because like you know by now that I make vlogs, I feel like. And if you don't, girl, if you got some time to kill, I got hours for you. Anyways, let's do it. Okay, so this is our first outfit. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should. But yeah, I just wore this little cowgirl baby tee, which is honestly insanely ironic considering how much I hate Texas. But in this case, for cute fashion, we will make an exception. So I really love how the neutrals of this shirt and pants tie together. And then since we are in spring summer months, I wanted to add a little bit of color just to give it that springy vibe. So I threw on a lilac bucket hat and my little pastel AF1 mids. And those kind of connect together really well in my opinion. And I also wore my gold jewelry and I would be wearing gold hoop earrings, but I can't wear earrings right now. And if you care why, I have like a 30 minute video on that too. But 
yeah, I can't wear earrings right now, but just imagine I'm wearing gold hoops and I'm wearing my little safety pin necklace, this little medallion necklace, and I'm wearing my gold rings. And then I'm also wearing my clay rings, like my colorful ones, just because I have these pastels going on. So I feel like it would look really weird if I only wore the clay rings, but since I have the gold with the clay, it kind of ties together everything. The gold is more for like the neutral tones of the outfit and the clay rings kind of complement the pastel. But this is our first fit. Fit number one. Baby girl, you're so fine. I can get you off my mind. Ooh girl, nah, nah. Ooh girl, nah, nah. Baby girl, don't need to flex. This is the rhythm and you do all the rest. Ooh girl. This is our next fit. And for this one, I'm wearing this lime green little crop shirt with ruffle sleeves. I really like this little tie here. It's super form fitting and just really flattering. And with this one, since I did a solid top, I decided to do an alternate print bucket hat because honestly, I just love bucket hats, especially for spring and summer and just like this Y2K vibe that I've been going for. Like bucket hats are just like the perfect accessory. So yeah, we have another bucket hat outfit, but I changed out my chunky rings to something that would match the green a little bit more. And then I actually put on my platform springy AF1s. The green and the AF1s match the shirts and the different prints kind of match too in a way, even though I feel like like they don't, but they do. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, I just kept on my gold jewelry and I kept on those gold rings and then I changed out the chunky rings to stuff that would match just a little bit more to this fit. I really love wearing platform shoes with these baggy pants. I feel like it just like sits on top of the platform so nicely. I'm also short, so you know, we love a platform shoe, we just do. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. This is our next fit. And with this one, there's a lot of like neon pinks on the tank. So I really just kind of matched that to the pink detailing on my shoes. And there's also a little bit of purple in the shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of lilac in there. So I matched it with this little lilac purse. This is just like a little lace cami, kind of like from the 90s. It reminds me of like a little vintage lace situation. So I really like this, totally Y2K vibes. And yeah, thought these looked really cute together. This one I'm actually gonna be wearing a pearl necklace and I changed to these cute little clay rings that I made. Really just like showing off my clay rings in this video more than anything. Love this lace part right here, it's just so cute. Yeah. I so it's conscious. Whoa, doing 90 on the jet skis. Yeah, we live in. Tell these haters come and get me. Little mama, you look sexy. This is our next one. I love this color. This is literally the color of the season. It's like a really light pastel yellow and I'm obsessed with it. This one's another one of those like little lacy tops, but this one has like a little bow right here. I just wore the white AF ones because they feel like with this light color, it just looks better. And then I wore these little sunglasses, which honestly, I don't like love them. I feel like I like couldn't see. Oh my God, it's like, was the camera bad? Or like was the lighting bad? Or was it just cause I couldn't see? I don't know, I don't know. I'll figure that out when I'm editing. So I wore it with my pearl necklace and gold rings and then these little sunglasses as well. I just feel like this kind of jewelry really matches like the soft girl aesthetic, which is really like the vibe of this shirt. So if you are somebody who wants to add just a little bit of color to your spring wardrobe, but not go crazy, I highly recommend this color because it is such a cute neutral color, but it's so springy at the same time. I love it.
Now, if you want to add in a little bit of color, you can always add on like a little colorful cardigan. This one's like a little fuzzy material and it's pink and orange. And it's really like the only color on the entire outfit. So it looks really good. And it's fun and it's springy. And if you always get cold like I do, then this is probably a good idea. Just something, you know, so you're not so bare and it layers a little bit more and just like adds a little bit more to the outfit. So this is an option as well. So this one's a little bit more casual. This one, I have a little orange tank. It has little angels on it. I feel like this little angel graphic or anything with angels is very Y2K and I'm all about that right now, so love it. And this is pretty much the only colorful part of the outfit. So since I had black on the shirt, I normally do black accessories if there's like black detailing. So since there's black here, I decided to go with this little black ruffle purse and my black Nike baseball cap, just to kind of give it more of a casual vibe. I wore, of course, my chunky clay rings and my pearl necklace. And then, of course, the pants. And I just did the white AF1s because everything else should be neutral since this is just so out of place. Like, it's just like a random color, you know? And since I didn't have any orange shoes, I just went with the white ones. So, yeah, I really like this. I feel like it's different and it's fun and super casual and chill. We love it. All right, so this is our next look. And this one, I did two different patterns again. I love patterns on patterns. And it works because they're both neutral colors. This is one of those scarfy looking tops. It's not actually a scarf, it's actually a top, but it looks kind of like a scarf. And I love the way these scarf tops look with like baggy, like low rise pants. Just feel like it looks really 90s and Y2K, oh my god, I'm so sick of saying Y2K. Somebody slap me the next time I say it, please. But yeah, this is our next one. I put on my little colorful bucket hat just to give it a little pop of color, but everything else is really neutral, so it works. I honestly really like this one. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but it, it just goes. I don't know what it is. It just works. I think it's just all neutral colors with that pop of color. You haven't noticed by now, there is a pattern. Normally, whenever you wear all neutrals, it's easy to add a little pop of color. You really can't go wrong. Like, this could be any color. It could be green, it could be orange, it could be pink. It really doesn't matter because everything else is neutral. You know what I mean? So you don't need to go out and get like a lilac bucket hat. I mean, like if you do, like we'll be matching cuties. But you know what I mean? Any color could work. Another cutie casual fit and another baby tee. This time this one has a little bit of color and the writing is gray, but it almost looks black. So I went ahead and used my same black accessories, my little black ruffle purse and my black Nike baseball cap just to give it that casual vibe. Kept on my pearl necklace and my white AF ones. So everything else is neutral and then we have our one pop up color. So. Hopefully you guys are catching on. As long as you have everything else neutral, it's more than okay to add a pop of color, and that's pretty much all you have to do for spring and summer. So, yeah, that's a really good tip, honestly. All right, so this is our next option, and honestly, you guys really just need like a really good white tank top that just is it fits you right and you know it's flattering and something that's just a good quality tank top like this is something that you need in your closet like you actually need it especially for spring and summer months because you can really wear this with literally anything and it's a really good investment like i wouldn't mind spending a little bit more on a good quality tank top because like these are the kinds of things that you can wear with literally anything so this is just like a little casual 
hoodie jacket. This is really simple and easy. I'm not gonna spend much time talking about this because it's just like a white tank top. Just get a white tank top. You just need one. Put my hair up for this one to add a little bit more sassiness since it was kind of a plainer fit. This is our last outfit, you guys. I actually can't believe I did it, but here we are. And thank you for watching all 10 of these. I hope that you got inspired, truly. This shirt is another little baby tee. It's purple. <laughs> And it has little angel symbols on it as well. I'm obsessed with this little angel symbol. I have it on like six shirts. I'm not even kidding. And with this one, I decided to show you guys what it would look like if you dressed it up a little bit more with some heels. So this look can also work really well with heels because it's that baggy loose fit at the bottom. So it looks really nice with heels and it just gives it like a girlier, dressier vibe. So I really do like this as well, and I wanted to show you guys it because I've been doing lots of like sneakers, which I love sneakers. I'm just such a sneaker girl. I always wear tennis shoes, like pretty much always. But if you wanted to go out, if you wanted to make this fit a little bit dressier, you can do this with literally any of the baby tees. Pretty much anything that I showed you, you could just wear a fun pair of heels. Uh, with this one, since you know the shirt's purple and we got neutral pants, I decided it would be fun to add a little bit of color in the shoes so the shoes are colorful and the shirts colorful so it kind of like goes together and then the pants are just neutral I'm done I finished I can't even believe it thank you guys so much for hanging in there I hope it was helpful and yeah bye bye